to know that love is more than verses on Valentine's and romance in the movies. We begin to know that love is here and now, real and true, and the most important thing in our lives. For love is a creator of our favorite memories, the foundation of our fondest dreams. Love is a promise that is always kept, a fortune that can never be spent, and a seed that can flourish in even the most unlikely places. And this radiance that never fades, this mysterious and magical joy is the greatest treasure of all, one known only to those who love. And today, James, as you have found that love in each other, you have come here to commit yourselves to one another in marriage. I ask you to remember that a good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together and facing the world. It is forming a circle that gathers in the whole family. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which both of you can grow. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is not only marrying the right partner, it's being the right partner. Antoinette and James, with this understanding of love and marriage, I ask you at this time to declare your intent to become husband and wife. And first, do you, James, take Antoinette to be your beloved wife? Do you promise to be a tender, faithful husband? Do you promise to love and cherish her in sickness and in health, for richer, for poor, for better, for worse, and keep yourself only unto her. If so, answer, I do. Do you, Antoinette, take James to be your beloved husband? Do you promise to be a tender, faithful wife? Do you promise to love and cherish him in sickness and in health, for richer and for poorer, for better and for worse, and keep yourself only unto him? If so, answer, I do. Now that you have declared your intent to become husband and wife, 
I ask you to share your vows with one another by repeating after me. The vows that you share here today are the promises from your heart. Internet, I love you. You are my best friend. Today, I give myself to you in marriage. I promise to encourage and inspire you. To laugh with you and to comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. I promise to love you in good times and in bad. When life seems easy, I want it to seem hard. When our love is simple, and when it is an effort, I promise to cherish you and always hold you in my history. These things I give to you today and all the days of our life. also chosen to exchange rings as an outward symbol of the commitment that you have made here today. <coughs> From earliest times, the ring has been a symbol of wedded love. The unbroken and never-ending circle symbolizes a commitment to love that is also never-ending. But these rings serve not as locks binding you together, but as keys unlocking the secrets of your hearts for each other to know and thus bringing you closer together forever. James, take the ring which you have selected, place it on Antoinette's finger, and say these words. Antoinette, this ring, a gift for you, symbolizes my desire that you be my wife from this day forward. Antoinette, take the ring which you have selected, place it on James's finger, and say these words to him. James, this ring, a gift for you. A gift for you. Symbolizes my desire. Would you be my husband from this day forward? Antoinette and James, as a collection of words, this ceremony would count for little, or not for the love and the commitment that you have brought here today. Your vows may have been spoken in moments, but the promises that you made to each other will last a lifetime. Having witnessed your vows of marriage with all those who are assembled here, and by the authority vested in me, I announce with great joy that you are now husband and wife, and you may kiss your beautiful bride. Would everyone join in prayer? Dear God, bless this marriage as Antoinette and James begin their journey down the road of life together. May they respect each other's likes and dislikes, opinions and beliefs, hopes and dreams and fears, even though they may not always understand each other. May they rest in the knowledge that no matter what happens, by holding on to each other, things will always work out for the best. Most of all, dear God, help them to keep the torch of love burning with the fire that they now share in their hearts. Amen. Amen. Antoinette and James, may the God the eternal keep you in love with each other so that the peace of Christ may abide in your home. All earthly goods I wish thee, all that spit for thee and thine, and still not only earthly, but all that's known to be divine. May heaven and earth mingle, may heaven and earth be one, all through your earthly journey till set your earthly sun. In sunshine and in shadow, through dancing and in song, may heaven bless you union throughout your whole life long. And now may God bless you and keep you. May God's continent shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May God's presence be with you and grant you peace. Congratulations. Blessings for a wonderful, wonderful marriage. And that gives me great pleasure to congratulate you 
and introduce you for the first time as husband and wife to your friends and family, Mr. and Mrs. James Murphy. Mr. and Mrs. James Murphy. 